curl number one. Pillow underneath, comfort, and ease of use for the cast technician. Correct. All right, what's our next step? Well, um, for me to measure out, um, to do fiberglass, what I'll do is I kind of stick this under your leg. I don't want to, I want to go two finger widths below the uh, back of your knee. So two, two finger widths. Yep. So you are two finger, two finger widths distal to the popliteal fossa. Yes. Okay, that's where you're starting. Yep. Then I'll measure out past your toes. Past the toes. And how far past the toes are you measuring? I don't know, about what? About four, four inches, inches there? Yep. So with our, our measurement goes four inches past the tip of the toe. Yes. Okay. Well, that's going to be for my fiberglass. Okay. And we could use a ruler or whatever for that. That's just the length that you're going to use. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that's going on is this sock-like thing. And what do we call that? A stockinette. A stockinette. And we're using the stockinette to protect the skin from Correct. sweating and yes, keep, keep it nice it and Yes, keep it dry. Yep. So first step is a stockinette. Uh, Kara, that's a fracture there. <laughs> okay, so that is going up right to the bottom of my patella. Patella, yes. Okay, and then well past the tip of my toe. Yep. And also, we, what's real important is to try to bring um, your foot up. We want to get a 90 degree angle. 90 degrees. So pearl number two, 90 yes. degrees. What what would happen if I kept it in this Aquinas or this plantar flexion? What happens is you get really stiff. Stiff. And so, okay. time you come back in here, you've been down um, for a few days, and we we're gonna we're gonna bring you back up to 90 degrees. So right here, this 90 degree angle key for the splint. Correct. All right. So. Now you're bra you are bracing my foot against your body I am. to keep it in that position. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what they do is right in through, I, they have a wrinkle, so I'll cut out the wrinkle. Cutting out the wrinkle. Okay. Yeah. And you do that on every one of those. Cut every, out the wrinkle. Every single one. Yep. Cut out the wrinkle so that that it's not putting any kind of pressure on the skin. Correct. Because it's like being in bed, you know, laying on. Sheets I'll that tell you, have wrinkles. Good yeah. yeah. Yep. So what I'll do is I let you just kind of hang out here, okay. and I'm gonna go and make your splint. We'll see it. We'll see you in a minute. Okay. So I just lay this out. So for my first, so we're gonna actually make an L and a U. So I only need one measurement. So just lay this out. And I'll cut here. I'm gonna make another one. Slightly a little longer. Because this is going to be the horseshoe. So. We just fold this in so it's not so. So it seals well. Any specific pearls on using fiberglass material? You don't have very long. So what I do with the fiberglass on the ends, because they're rough edges, so if you can see that, I always trim those back. And then you pull your outer covering back over? Yep. And why do you do that? So it no rough edges against the skin because they can actually puncture the skin after they dry. So when you're prepping your material, you do that on all 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 ends. Yes. So with me, now I can look, I have one slightly longer than the other, uh -huh. shorter pieces for the L, longer piece for the U. So I have picked up a shorter piece, which is the, going to be the L. So I open this, has a little pouch in here, I open it up, don't need to get very much water in here.
it's drying out the excess water. So we have two pieces to this splint. Two pieces. Yep. We've got the posterior element and then the stirrup. Stirrup. And why yes. two? Why why two pieces on there? Um, because uh, doctors don't want any um, side to side movement. So starting it out. So I'm going to go about right. two finger widths below. Two finger widths right yep. below so the you popliteal can bend, fossa. So it's okay. actually comfortable. And then we're going to do the, the U. And you are right at the tip of my toes with, with the end of that. Mm -hmm. And the stirrup is coming up just to the top of my calf. And I can feel that you're putting pressure on there to keep me up at 90 degrees with the, with the end of that. And here comes the wrap. And what, how, how are you wrapping? You're just trying to keep it snug but not too tight? Snug but not too tight, correct. So you're just kind of rolling it on. You're not really pulling. Roll, rolling but not pulling, okay. And still putting pressure, I can feel you putting pressure on the on my heel and on the ball of my foot over there. Maybe that's the, the stirrup on the on my heel. And what I do is the ends here be folding and back. So you're folding the end of the stockinette. Yep. So over, you can over the edge of this over the of the fiberglass. Yes. So you want your toes to be exposed on top, so you can see circulation. And you're exposed. You're, I'm seeing all those. Holy smokes! Look yep. at that. All my toes. <laughs> And now, so now you just made a, a turn right over the right over the edge. Yes. Okay. Kind of making a, a, a figure, figure eight. Figure eight. Figure eight. Yes. Yep. And that that wrapping looks like it takes a little practice. To, to it it does. Right. It takes some practice. Okay. And now you've just rolled the stocking it over the top. Yep. And so uh, a little, you have a little shelf here. Okay. So you have more comfort. So this will be the last now, wrap. Now the over wrap. Yeah. And just wrapping it all the way down. Yeah. So it covered up the, the whole splint. And then I just try to mold, making sure there's no rough edges, holding it to your foot. And what are some problems that you can run into with this? Why people come back because of uh, uh, something going wrong with the splint? Um, wrap too tight. Wrap too tight. Yes. And then also um, covering up the whole toes so they're all, it's actually pinching your foot. So all toes should be exposed. And actually those... Those toes are exposed down to the MTP joints. I mean, yep. you can see the whole thing. All right, well, we are dry. Yes. Right, we're ready to roll. So just the skeleton of the splint. Underneath here, I love that cutout because then you don't get any pressure from the fold in the, um, in the, in the stockinette. And then right here, here's what, the, here's what the stirrup apparatus looks like. You've got the posterior part coming first and then over top is the posterior and it's pretty well molded to the to the ankle you can see how they formed it to the ankle and the bottom of the foot